final update I think my marriage is over. Today was our court date. We went and stood in front of a judge. He asked if we both agreed to the terms of our divorce decree we said yes. And that was it. An 8 year relationship ended in 5 minutes. It was kind of a surreal feeling. I had been getting ready for this day to come for a year. But now that it was finally here. I realized I wasn't ready at all. While we were waiting for the judge I just sat there thinking of all the good times we had and how we won't have any more good times in the future. At least not together. An overwhelming sadness overcame me. We used to make each other so happy. At one point I made a comment to her I still can't believe all this happened. I thought I was going to be married to you until I died. And she said well. It's not like we can't get married again in the future. And I said no. We won't. This is it. I wanted to do marriage counseling. But you had no interest in fixing things. Why would we think anything would be different if we got back together? I asked her if her boyfriend had left his wife yet. And she said she doesn't have a boyfriend. So I asked her then why is his picture your phone's background? She didn't respond. So. She's still clearly seeing him. I found out a while back that he quit his job. His wife gave him an ultimatum. Either he leaves the place where he worked with my wife, or she would leave him. So clearly he has no intentions of leaving his wife, and for some reason my wife is still waiting for him. I'm planning on giving his wife another call. I did end up making a post on Facebook. I kept it cordial. Explained to everyone that we had been separated for a year, that we were divorced now, and I was thankful for all of her family loving and accepting me from the beginning. I asked everyone to keep both of us in their prayers. I kept the reason vague and didn't mention the infidelity I know a lot of. You were telling me to put her on blast. But in the end that just seemed pointless. Instead I just said that our lives are taking us in different directions and there is nothing we can do to fix it. Her sisters know the truth. Her mother knows the truth. Her best friend knows the truth. They wouldn't let her paint me in a bad light if she started lying. Besides, the divorce is done. The property is mine. There's nothing left for me to do but move forward. Airing out our dirty laundry does not help me move forward. There were a lot of nice comments from friends, her family and mine. A lot of people were shocked, sat, they wished us the best, etc. So that's that. Now all that's left for me to do is turn the page and start a new chapter. I know it isn't going to be easy. I have a lot of things about myself and my life that I need to fix before I even entertain moving on romantically. But I'll get there. My sister made a comment that really struck home. I will share it here with the hope that her words help someone else. You have a full and wonderful life waiting ahead for you. A blank canvas. Don't let the stark whiteness keep you from painting whatever the heck you want. Go make this new. Unexpected chapter completely badass. You are the single most incredible person I've ever known. People reap what they, so you don't need to worry about your harvest. And I can't wait to see all the good things come to fruition for you. It's coming. And you deserve every bit of it. Your ex has put you through a lot. I'm sorry life didn't turn out how you thought it would. But at least you can walk away knowing you tried your best. That's more than what your wife can say. It takes two to make a relationship work. The truth is, I feel sorry for your wife. Not because she deserves sympathy, but because as a woman it breaks my heart to see women who reduce themselves to the side piece and play this pick me game with men who don't want or value them. And if he did pick her, who does she get? A man who lies and cheats. When a man marries his mistress he creates a vacancy and the mistress just never gets that through her head. Your wife threw away a man who was devoted, loyal, and kind for a man who keeps her as his dirty little secret. It's sad and pathetic. She ruined her life. One day you will find a woman who loves, values, and respects you. A woman who will appreciate you. You deserve to be with someone who loves you the same way you love her. She's out there. You just have to find her. Wishing you all the best. You did the right thing the advice from here. To blast her in a social media post is mindless and stupid it's something that with time only comes back to hurt you. And if you're of a good nature, you would be ashamed by it afterwards. Similarly to you. My wife who had an affair and refused to stop seeing the app. At the time we broke up she said to me that I was immature for saying that we would never be together again. 
Unless we made it work then and there. If I wasn't good enough for her then. Then in my mind. If we got back together in the future it would. Because she just wanted a safety net. Hey OP. You and I have very similar stories. My ex told me the exact same thing. And she is currently with a man. Who is with another woman. A woman like our exes don't value relationships and they failed in their primary relationship. If women like these are able to walk away from the people who love them most and care about them, it's a truly hopeless situation for them. They cannot love and are addicted to the fake validation they get from others. They talk bad about their husbands and they get enabled by society to cheat and don't settle for that guy. These women cannot be pleased. They cannot forgive. They cannot give. They only take and blame until there is nothing left and they discard you. I've heard it all as well you didn't give me any attention. You didn't let me be independent. You didn't let me pursue my dreams. You are too closed minded blah blah blah. My ex had no limits on her spending. And she got mad at me when she ran the bank account dry. My ex wanted to be independent. But she watched Netflix all day. My ex had dreams of starting a business. But couldn't even pick up the phone and inquire about building rental costs. I had my own business which I involved her in. But she was above that. I made investments. Worked hard. Spent time with the kids. And took them out. I paid all the debt. I spent time with my family. I love her family as well. But she couldn't be pleased. She couldn't forgive. And was never grateful. If I say yes she says no. If I say black she says white. Always opposite. Never learns. And she feels misunderstood by the world. She is a victim to herself. My ex is in a world of hurt right now. She sleeps with co-workers all who are in relationships. Her debt is keeping her locked. She isolated herself from anyone who loves her. She is in a relationship with a man who is with another woman. And she can't take care of the kids because she has crippling depression. She'd been treated poorly by other men. Her love is transactional. She has no friends and she still refuses to acknowledge and responsibility for her actions. Complete and utter denial and refusal of therapy or counseling despite us having kids. Truly a broken person. Everything is meaningless to her and it makes me sad. I know it's hard to believe but it gets better for you. Just take it slow. Don't rush into any commitments. Learn about yourself. Meet other people and learn how to interact. Have fun and set boundaries. Get involved in hobbies. Hang out with friends. Have a good time. And don't take new relationships too seriously. Just chill. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more videos.